You know that April Fool's post I recently wrote that totally faked everyone out? Well, turns out it's not entirely a fabrication. In fact, every part except the part about the JET program is 100% true. I slacked my way through a TEFL course, I passed the JLPT N3, and I found out that Eon is for assholes and assholes alone. The bottom line is that I will be spending the next year as an English teacher in Japan. To get the job, I had to fill out a whole bunch of forms, I had to go on an interview, and I had to put together a demo lesson, this one being on money and shoes, two things I do not have all that much of. Yes, this is the standard demo lesson that they ask you to do, and you are allowed to make up your own, but what's the point? Uh, there have been many times in my life where I thought that being creative, being a little different, and putting in a little extra effort would actually benefit me in some way, shape, or form. But life isn't that complicated. Sometimes just sticking to the script is the best thing you can do. That's what I did here when I got the job. For the next year, I'll be training in the mountains of the Tochigi Prefecture. This is an area in North Kanto that in recent anime has been most famous for its blind people. Kind of fitting, I guess. In the real world, it's famous for its, um, well, let's see here. Shrines, temples, heritage, come on. Onsen Sake and Ski Resorts, now we're talking. This area is about an hour north of Tokyo by bullet train. I currently live about an hour from New York City by train. If I stop by Tokyo as much as I currently stop by New York City, I'll probably make it there like twice, three times maybe. Or who knows, maybe I'll stop being lazy and get my ass on a train once a month. I've got three more weeks in traffic court, then I'm heading to Japan at the end of June to begin teaching in July. This may result in more posts, it may result in less. However, topic-wise, I do expect things to be a little different than they have been for the past eight years. Now, let's mark this occasion with the changing of the banners.